National Restaurant Association's Restaurant Performance Index in January was 98.7, a decline of 1.1%. Restaurant operators reported softening in same-store sales and traffic conditions, while their expectations for sales six months out improved. Regarding restaurant operator capital spending in January, 52% of restaurant operators reported making a capital expenditure over the past three months, and 57% of restaurant operators expect to make a capital expenditure over the upcoming six months. Regarding restaurant industry employment in January, the industry actually declined a little in terms of employment, about 2,400 positions. While it is important to note that the association projects that this year alone, the industry will add 200,000 jobs on a net basis. In January, wholesale food prices continued their decline on a year-to-year -year basis that is now running at a negative 3.9%. Not surprisingly though, certain commodity groups posted gains, for example, chicken, coffee, butter, and beef, while well, other commodities posted declines, for example, such as potatoes, eggs, pork, and fresh vegetables. In January, restaurant menu price inflation on a year-over-year -year basis clocked in at 5.1%. Uh, that is better than the overall annual average for 2023, but does remain substantially above grocery store price inflation, which was 1.2%. Meanwhile, overall inflation clocked in at 3.1%. So in sum, the restaurant performance index in January, 98.7, a decline of 1.1%. Restaurant industry employment down by 2,400. Wholesale food prices down 3.9% year over year, and menu price inflation up by 5.1%. And don't forget, for additional information, visit our website, restaurant.org. Thank you.